You ready? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Moltman episode. Today, what are we doing today, Ryder? Shooting a be beaver. A beaver? Yeah. Alright, so behind me, we're at my parents' house right now. My uncle's been setting traps. We've done videos like this in the past. They have a huge problem with beavers in this river behind their house. So, my uncle set a trap and caught another beaver and called me and Ryder to come over and take care of him. That's Zoe and Cooper in the background whining in their kennel because my parents have been watching them for the past week while we've been out of town. Today we're shooting the FX Impact uh, 25 cal and Ryder's got a um, 50 cal cap gun. So, you gonna get him? You ready? Yeah. We're gonna eat him? Yeah. And we're gonna use his skin? Yeah. And then we're gonna tan his tail? Yeah. Okay, let's go get him. Follow the trail. Well, that better sit twice. Tell those dogs to hush. Huh? Tell the dogs to hush. Hush! Tell them. Hush! Come on. Tell them to quit. You tell them to quit. Quit! Now you. The you better watch that gun barrel, boy. Huh? Keep going. Let's go find the beaver. Someone trapped I see it. the trap. Trap? I see the trap. They weighed in traps. Huh? Do they weigh in traps? No, we caught him in a trap. Huh? He's caught in a trap. Ooh. Oh. That's a big beaver, Ryder. Right there. See him? Can we shoot him? Yep. Well, guys, the FX Impact does the trick. Guys, that's all there is here. We're gonna get this guy uh, out of here and take him home, clean him. Definitely gonna be eating beaver meat. It is amazing. And uh, then we're gonna. This is not the end of the video. We're gonna go do some fishing, possibly go hog hunting tonight too. So y'all stay tuned. We're gonna get this beaver taken care of and uh, get back to the house. You got him in the forehead? Yep. Yep. I shot him right there. Yep. All right, let's take him up to the truck. You gonna take him to daddy? You gonna carry him to daddy's truck for me? Yeah, and then where are we going? Home. Shut we're, we're not gonna keep his skin because he, um, he messed his skin up on that cage. Where? We're gonna take all his meat and his tail. Where? Okay? Okay. All right, so we're gonna cut his tail off first. That's a big tail. We can make a wallet. We can make handle for your bow. What else can we make with his tail? Uh, beef jerky. Beef jerky? Yeah. Beaver jerky? Yeah. The Schrade Rage Replaceable Blades today. Okay, this hand. It's my favorite knife. And this is my favorite knife. So I scored his tail and then we're gonna pop it. Look at this. It's the tongue. Where is it? The tongue? Yeah. That's no tongue. That's the tail. Right here, catch. Ryder, I think we're gonna make a beaver shepherd's pie. Okay. That's my favorite way to eat beaver. So we're gonna put it in the crock pot and let it meat, let the meat cook all day long. Hey, you're getting into the guts, Bubba. Huh? What is this? Hmm? his foot. Oh. All right, Ryder, hold this right here. Hold the bone. Bone? Yep, hold it hard. Hold it. Like, pull, hold it right here. And pull it back. Pull it that way, towards you. There you go. Keep pulling hard. 
Keep pulling. Can I hold it, Daddy? Yep, can you put it in that bowl for me? Yep. Sure can. Alright. Put it in that bowl. Okay. We're gonna get all the other legs and we're gonna put it in the pot for dinner. Okay? Good job. See? It's blood. Good job. I shot it like, and then we cut it into the turkey, and then, and then we go back home. All right, guys, we're going fishing, so we're gonna let this cook till we get back. We got this is uh, 16 ounces of um, bone broth, chicken bone broth. And all this is doing is keeping the meat, the meat from drying out. So this is a healthy version of a crock pot. Um, it's like a surgery grade, what is it? Surgical grade. Surgical grade. Stainless steel. Stainless steel. So it, has, it doesn't give any bad like T3 or 4. chemicals in your body while it's cooking for that long. Um, so. I got it on medium high. I'm gonna let it cook all day long and we're gonna make a shepherd's pie tonight for dinner with it. So um, y'all stay tuned. Let's go crappie fishing. Back into action with Hunter. It's crappie time. All right guys, we rolling. Got the six six. ACC crappie steaks and we are both throwing a little silver and sartreuse hand tie got this big old 16 inch graph let me see if I can get y'all a better view of it right there try to keep my pole out of the way Hunter is casting out Alright guys, we got a fish right there. And we're gonna cast, he's at 30 foot. Right on top of him. Uh oh. No, not gonna catch him. <laughs> Hunter's over here. Let's got his rod it. wrapped around me. Alright, now we're dropping down on him. Gonna stop it, bring it over to him. I'm below him. There I am. Here he comes. Bam. Such a hook. Nice old crappy. Crappy on a jig, crappy on a jig. Nice, keep a white crappie. Add them to the pile. Got a few in there. Dropping down, and I don't see my bait. Hunter's on him. There's his bait right above the fish, and here he comes. Oh, Missed what? Alright, I'll get on him. Uh, I won't get on him because he's behind the boat. Well, that's an obnoxious boat. We're both short. Alright, there we go. Dropping down on a big crappie. Yep, 
Here he comes. Whack! Giant copy. <laughs> you got a scale? Dude, that's a two pounder. It's pretty darn close to one. You got a scale? Oh, yeah. You do? I just bought one too. Yeah. I should have brought it. Where's it at? Let's see how big this crappie is. That's a two pound crappie. Yeah. You think? Yeah. Alright guys, we don't have a scale, but I'm going to let big girl go, let her spawn. We don't do this a whole lot, but she gone. Alright, Hunter's going to cast out to that crappie right there. Bam. And he's off of it. About 10 foot. <laughs> That's alright. That's another big crappie though. She's kind of swimming weird. It's hard to see her. She's right there and his bait's right there. So he should be able to should be able to get her to bite. There he goes. Another big one. Big old crappie. That one's going in the box. In the box. Ain't big enough to, to throw back. We got another crappie right here. Two more. A little two time action. I'm a Catch that fish. Nope. I got him right here. Oh, drop it on his head. Talk about. Here he comes. Whack. Another one through the box. Another nice one, guys. Kind of slowed down. We're putting them in there slowly, but surely. Get out of here. Get out. Gotta be quicker than that. Oh, no. Who's gonna get her? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's a giant, too. Got me on that one. Another tank. Oh, I'm gonna need the pliers on this girl. Another fatty for the box. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nope, I'll catch her for you. Lost my touch. For real? The Big time. <laughs> like three times. Got him. <laughs> Thing's swimming like a white bass. <laughs> Biggin. Fatty. <laughs> Biggin. Another biggin. Thank you, God, for making crappie. Delicious and fun.
time to go clean fish and eat some beaver for dinner. It's cold, real cold. All right, me and Ryder are ready to make dinner. This has been going for about four hours, maybe five hours on high and it is ready to pull. So we're gonna pull these out. Can I one, Daddy? Yep. Okay. We're gonna put them in a bowl. We're gonna pull all the meat off. See how it's just falling off the bone? Can I have one? Yep. We're gonna pick a little bit of that fat off. Then we're gonna shred all this meat and add it to our other stuff. Guys, we got four, four potatoes in here. We're gonna dump a block of cream cheese. Ryder's gonna pour some barbecue sauce in. This is not the uh, traditional way, I don't think that. Keep on going. All right, let's start with that much. And then we're gonna take our meat. Cowboy Daddy? Yep, when it's, when it's done. It's hot. It's hot. Just to where it shreds that meat and gets everything mixed together, the potatoes, the cream cheese, the meat. And then we got carrots boiling over here. Here, try it. Mmm, is that good? Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. All right. All right, so that's what, that's just two back quarters of a, like a medium sized beaver. So talk about a lot of meat. I'm gonna add more barbecue sauce. Added another layer of barbecue sauce. And then we're gonna add our, I'm just making this up. This isn't, I say shepherd's pie, I don't know what a, traditional shepherd's pie is like. So then we're gonna go a layer of carrots and peas. A layer of peas. And then to top it all off, we are going to top it off with cheese. This is grated and on there. Ryder, what do you think? Does it look good? Let's put it in the oven. Let that cheese crisp up and then we'll take it out and do a taste test. You ready to see it? All right, let's see it. Oh, yummy. <laughs> that looks like something great grandma will make. And let's have a great rest of the weekend. Okay. All right. We got to keep little man fed or else he is not happy. So let's do a double feeding. Bam, bam. Mm -hmm. One out of 10. Very delicious. It is a... Uh, the meat is a little stringy. I, I shouldn't have blended it up as much as I did, but give this a solid uh, 9.1 for beaver. This is delicious. You would never know. You could give this anybody and they'd never say it's beaver meat. It's delicious.